Well, this seems like a pretty precarious spot to be in. What's up, Game Cola fans out there? This is Jeff, and I'm here with part two of Mega Man Unlimited. Today, we're going to be taking on Tank Man and Comet Woman. Starting off, of course, with Tank Man. Now, taking a look at this stage, you start to notice something seems a bit off, doesn't it? I don't know if it's just me, but this whole color scheme is... Bleh. And not just bleh, as in like, oh my goodness, I'm suffering from food poisoning. It's more like bleh. The colors are just bleh. Okay, I, you get the idea. As for the stage development, or stage design, I do like the design and how they have all these like different things in the background. And later on, we'll get to the main or core mechanics of the stage, which I really enjoy. These enemies are pretty cool. As you can see, they pop out of the ground, and fly up, and they shoot projectiles. One, well, not shoot projectiles, but they fire off projectiles when they blow up. Now, those also have a partner in crime, the orange ones, right there. Those don't pop out of the ground, but they blow up on contact. I think those are called mines, though. Oh, I don't know why I have that ladder there. Maybe you want to go back up? I don't know. Oh, man. And, of course, it wouldn't be long before we reach a tank in a tank man's stage. And this is the part where we get into the main core mechanics of the stage. If you look up there in the top part of the screen, you have a little conveyor belt which pushes you and does things. Oh, <gasps> mini boss time. This mini boss is pretty simple enough. Oh. Yeah, see, I, I said easy and I really wasn't joking. Uh, and this is where things get a bit difficult. Oh wait, did I say, did I say difficult? I'm sorry, but a uh, pretty s easy challenge there. Um. Oh, of course, I beat this game, or beat the stage before, so I kind of know what's going on, so it doesn't help. First time around, it is a bit confusing. This whole game was just confusing the first time you play it. Of course, that's probably just for me. Anyway. There we go. Yeah, see, there you go. If things get difficult, it's good to know. All right, let's go. Ooh, ah, okay, uh, and I'd also like to take this moment to thank all my viewers from part one of this playthrough. It turns out I was talking to Nathaniel Hoover, aka Gemini Laser. Shameless plug, I'm so good at Mega Man. And he was telling me how my video, part one of Mega Man Unlimited, actually had a quite, or quite a bit of buzz. I'm not talking buzz as in like, to infinity and beyond! I'm not talking buzz as in, oh, I just drank 10 Red Bulls and I'm just feeling phenomenal! No, I'm talking buzz as in the amount of viewers that I get. Because the video's only been up for, I think, about a week, maybe less than a week? And it's already at 200 vid or 200 views. Which is actually pretty surprising because on my personal channel, uh, Game Cole, feel free to bleep this out if you need or if need be but um my personal channel jeffero26 i'm i'm lucky enough to even reach 200 views overall let alone in less than a week although i should be glad because i'm sitting at 271 subscribers on my channel now i do hope to be reaching a thousand sooner or later but anyway back to game cool stuff because we're on the well, game cola channel and you know what sounds good right about now some game cola so now at Myers maybe at Myers or it could be Walmart nah they only sell walls at Walmart <laughs> get it wall Walmart it's fun oh take you know this is starting to remind me of a <sighs> of a death no jeez as I was saying this is 
that part was starting to remind me of a comment I saw on my uh, video, or part one, of this playthrough. Someone was mentioning how he was a bit confused at what my goal here was, what my main objectives were. Well, there you go. Here's the thing with me, because I, usually I just play the games just for fun. You know, I don't really try to, you know, beat, like, have any goals in mind. I just play just for fun, add random commentary, and make it, or in the hopes of it being funny. That's pretty much the synopsis of my channel, so. But, I mean, it's kind of difficult for me now to try and come up with unique things to say here on the Game Call channels. But I suppose considering that I've got 200 views on my first episode, I suppose that's a plus, and apparently people are liking my work. So, uh, thanks to all my viewers once again for checking out this video and slash playthrough. So, let's get back on to the informative stuff. Ow! And not the part where I get hit. So, so far, it seems like a pretty solid challenge with a few easy key points here. And I think the really difficult, or I wouldn't say difficult part, but um, I think the real challenge would come at the boss fight. That's probably where things get interesting, although I do beg to differ that the boss in this stage is pretty easy once you get his pattern down. I'll exhibit that in just a few minutes. Or maybe a minute or two minutes, to be exact. I mean, if we're talking exact deals, I tried saying exact and peripherals at the same time. It clearly doesn't work out. Alright, so we got a pretty nifty challenge here. And it was so difficult. I, like, literally flew right through that without the addition of Rush Jet or Super Adapter or Sadapter. So now it's time to fight Tank Man. Yes, I salute thee too. Alright, so his pattern is pretty simple enough. Ow! And minus the whole getting hit thing. Alright, so pretty much what he does is he uh, will shoot this weapon. It's AKA Tank Arsenal. And then he'll zoom across the screen. Now, mine though, after the, he goes across the screen, he'll do that little fake out. Ow! Yeah, it would help if I, you know, don't get hit. It's a good start. Okay, so. Oh, whoops. I totally remembered why I went to Tick Man stage. <laughs> so, for those of you who like using weaknesses, Tick Man is weak against the Nail Shield. So for those of you who are curious, nail shield. Hashtag nail shield. Nail, nail seal. <laughs> Na I almost said Nash shield. <laughs> I'm getting my words confused. Nail shield. There we go. <sighs> it only took me 17 different tries to say it. Man, this is going great. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, ooh. No. <sighs> See, this is what happens when I get off topic. Ow. Uh, uh. I mean, uh, well, if you want, I guess you probably skip this part. Yeah, well, you know what? Forget it. I'm just, you know, gonna use uh, the power of fast forward. And, uh, something. I don't know. Nah, fast forwarding is for, well, video players. And video players are outdated. Or maybe they're indated. It's possible. It's very possible. <sighs> okay, there we go. At least I can display more of this uh, awesome stage development. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, there we go. Oh! So, I'm not sure what's going on with that little ledge there, but I th I'm not sure if it's like a secret path or what. Like, I'm not sure if there's supposed to- Ow! Pfft, explosions, they hurt. It's a good thing to note. Uh, just take the bullets! 
Just the bullets. Ah, thank you. Ah, come on. Oh, okay. I'm kind of losing track here. Maybe I should go play track and field for the Nintendo Entertainment System. That's a hint. One of you Game Cola members, you should do a playthrough of that. I don't know. I know after this, I'll probably be doing a playthrough of Mega Ma or Mega Man Rock Force. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, though, for the Game Cola channel or for my personal channel. Feel free to take a look or keep an eye out on both of them, because I'm not just... I still won't probably be sure which channel I want to update it to. <laughs> update it, upload it to. <laughs> God, look at me, considering videos as statuses that you can just update whatever you want. Uh, are we? Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there you go. Now you see the mass confusion of this stage. And by stage, I mean mini boss. <sighs> okay. Whew. You know, it's a good thing that I'm not really concerned about time consistency here. I mean, I could sit here for a half hour and I'd be great. Well, I mean, you guys would probably turn the video off for an, probably after like 15 minutes because that's usually the average time a video runs, so. Hopefully this doesn't take too much longer. I know Combat Woman's stage, I can usually make it through easily. Of course it has anti-gravity. So that kind of helps, you know, with uh, flying through stages. Oh, jump and jump. I love this fluid motion here. See how I'm like, you know, not even like batting an eyelash, even though I really don't bat eyelashes. I don't, I don't think it's typical for guys to bat eyelashes. Somebody please comment below and let me know if it's typical to, you know, bat eyelashes or not. Or you can just comment just because, because I love reading comments. Oh, which time, man, every time. You know, maybe one time I'll actually not get hit there. It'd be great. It'd be like a dream come true. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, oh, that was close. It was like really close. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. Oh, okay. So, we're almost back to where the boss is, so I suppose that is a plus. Or it could be a division sign or a multiplication. It's so hard to tell nowadays. And get ready to drop your shield of thunder so I can shoot you with some thunder. Even though there's not really a thunder boss here. At least I think? I, I can't remember where the bosses are now. Uh, it's not yo-yo, man, but it, I don't know. Let's focus more on the boss. He don't want a repeat of, well, the past 17 times I died, even though it was only, like, three. But, uh, who's keeping track? Uh, and as soon as I say that, somebody's probably keeping track of how many times, so comment below and say, you died 1,700 times! Or somebody will make a joke and be like, you died over 9,000 times! And I'll be like, yeah, thanks. Thanks for, you know, rubbing that in. Rubbing salt in the wound there. Well, metaphorically speaking, of course. You know, not physically. <sighs> Maybe I should, you know, display, you know, nail shield actually being useful? Instead of trying to show off here? Yeah, you know, you caught me. I'm just trying to show off here. This has been dedicated to Nathaniel. Oh! I would have left if I died there, somehow. <laughs> Even though I'm at full health. Ow, ow, ow. Ow! <laughs> a hit for a bullet! And a bullet for the win. Alright, so that about wraps up Tank Man. So, I guess our next mission now is to take on Comet Woman. But first, I'd like to discuss Tank Man's weapon. So, Mega Man, what do we got here? Show me. Like, now would be good. Come on, you got Tank Arsenal. Now, Tank Arsenal is a pretty unique weapon, because it shoots pretty much like the... Well, there's like three different aspects of the uh, weapon. You got the main shot, you got like a, a lob shot, and... What was the last one? I don't know, there's like three different angles of which you shoot projectiles. So it 
could actually be used for some pretty nice skill shots, if you actually know what you're doing and you've actually had some practice. Alright, going on to Comet Woman stage, you have your basic little stage, your space stage setup, you know, low gravity, you press the button and you float up, and it's, it's fun. I'm not sure if I discussed this though, but I've never seen a Mega Man game that actually has like anti-gravity. I think I discussed this once before in one of my other videos, but I wanted to discuss this also in the Game Coal run of this. Because, um, I have yet to see that kind of aspect in a Mega Man game or a Mega Man boss fight. An aspect in which you use anti-gravity. I've seen, like, low amounts of gravity, or like, yeah, low amounts of gravity, but I've never seen actual, like, anti-gravity. I'm sure it's probably because, you know, if you have anti-gravity, you're just going to be sitting there floating in space for the rest of eternity. But this could possibly be a nice little throwback that we can use for the Super Adapter from Mega Man 7. Or perhaps maybe like a different adapter for Rush? Or possibly even we could do something with the uh, Rush Jet Adapter. Or Rush Jet. Any form of Rush to possibly compensate for anti-gravity. And for anti-death. Oh, man. Well, we still got three lives to spare. You know what they say. A third time is the charm. <sighs> Bringing shame to the cola. I feel like I'm doing way too much of that lately. There we go. I'm sorry, Game Cola! I didn't mean to affect you! Oh, well. Ah, uh, man, there we go. Speaking of, though, recently we've done a... Uh, nah, nah, never mind. I was about to say something about our... Uh, playthrough, or... A, uh, video playthrough that Anna did on Game Cola. It hasn't been released yet, and we're still waiting on Nathaniel to accept it, but it consisted of me, Matt Jonas, Anna, and... I can't remember the last person. I'll, I'll have um, Nathaniel or somebody post it in the comments below, because... And I'm sorry, but I can't remember what name it was. Like, I remember Anna and Matt Jonas because they were in a podcast with me before, because... So, I'm quite familiar with them. Matt is actually I'm more familiar with, and Nathaniel is just on a whole different level. Because it turns out, me and Nathaniel actually have been, like, friends long before I started becoming, or when I first became a Game Cola staff member. Because I think it was around the time when I, well, I first discovered his channel, and we were just discussing stuff. He usually comments, um, or commented on my videos. He doesn't do that anymore. Well, he occasionally does, of course. I don't blame him, though, because he's got so much footage to record. But anyway, enough about my personal life. Let's, uh, get on with the game. Ooh, that's a nice jump there. Ooh, a leap of faith! And speaking of faith, let's fight Comet Woman. Now, Comet Woman is a pretty wicked boss. But, I think for the purpose of consistency, we're gonna grab a tank arsenal. Okay, I lied about the whole, you know, two angles of damage, so. So it shoots two projectiles forward, and one, and lobs one. Oh, for reals? Oh, man. That is killer. I mean, quite literally, though. Alright, so, apparently, since I'm low on dam... I almost said damage. Damage, oh, man. You know, that just makes it even worse, because I tried saying damage, and I forgot the whole edge part. So, that that's really bad. I apologize if, if, for those of you who are offended by that. I do apologize. I don't know how many more times I have to say apologies. I'll, I'll just keep apologizing for the rest of the video. Although, that probably wouldn't be informative, so... Yeah. So, uh, Comet Woman, man. 
Comet Woman's fight is pretty simple enough. Um, you just gotta keep er, these orbs occasionally block your attacks, and once they start glowing, it will take a few seconds for them to kick out, and they'll occasionally try to squish you. But, after a little bit of practice, you can get used to it, otherwise you can just be good and, and not have to practice at all. Oh, nice, Mega Man! Nice friction there! So, what weapon do we have today? Let's find out! Shoot it up! So what weapon do we got? You got... Comet Dash! Very nice! Alright, so I guess maybe we're gonna go to the shop? You know, speaking of Nathaniel, this whole, almost, this entire episode, I think it's safe to say that we should, you know, throw a little reference in there for him, because I remember when he was doing his playthrough of Mega Man S Oh no, it wasn't his playthrough of Mega Man 7, but he was doing a um, let's all play of Mega Man 7 with me, Argothump, and SA Oyster on my channel, and he was making a joke about shopping, so we had to do that for him. <gasps> Ooh, story! I ran a few more tests, dot dot dot. I've never seen anything like this. It seems some kind of virus is completely rewriting the programs of those robots, dot dot dot. So that's why they are so hostile. Or maybe because you woke them up. I don't know. I've got to stop them! With an exclamation point. Be careful, Mega Man. The virus even seems to be transmitted by simply being in contact with the infected robots. That's odd. He has defeated four of them so far. And still hasn't shown any sign of infection. I am just a god of anti-infection. Alright, so that wraps up this video. So in the next episode, we're going to be taking on Jetman. And then the so oh, so infamous Yo-Yo Man. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys in part three. This is Jeff signing out.